The Army combat test is here, and some can't believe that it's near. North Carolina National Guard administrative officers and other senior leaders attend a two-day Army combat fitness test, also known as the ACFT familiarization course, where they receive instruction on how to execute the test. I'm Major Carrie Hollowitty, 690th BSB, out of the 130th MEB. At this course, she adapted quickly to the new physical training culture. A lot of nerves until we could see, you know, each repetition done right. So you kind of knew the correct way to do it without injuring yourself. Master fitness instructors make sure everyone understood the importance of performing each exercise correctly. I like the idea of functional strength. It looks like there was, you know, a deliberate approach, approach taken to this in order to measure strength and capability and fitness as it applies to what we might have to do in combat. So that does make sense. I think it's going to be very successful and I think we're actually going to become more fit as a force by training for this and, and ultimately testing uh, with this new standard. The ACFT requires equipment that the APFT doesn't offer, like this 10-pound medicine ball used for the standing power throw event. Out of these six events, each soldier will be tested on their strength flexibility, and endurance. Sergeant Major of the Army Michael Grinston tweeted his ACFT score and explained the importance why soldiers should take the diagnostic test. On the second day, everyone took the diagnostic test and as for Major Ryan Hogan, he gave his final remarks. I'm not gonna lie, the sled drag is gonna, is gonna beat up your quads pretty good and you get that wobbly leg, so you just gotta make sure you stay stable and get through the event. Those who took this course will return to their units better prepared to inform them about the Army Combat Fitness Test. It's, it's a lot different. You can't prepare for it weeks before. It's gonna be all year round that you have to, to, to work at each of these events to, to pass and to, and to be proficient and to even excel at it. At Fort Fisher, North Carolina National Guard Public Affairs, Specialist Alonzo Clark.